Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, we're doing your weeklies. How are you? It's your weeklies and I'm excited. By the time you're watching this, I feel like it's already the meetup. So there's no more tickets, but I will see whoever is coming and I'm excited. We've planned a lot of stuff that is kind of still fixing right now. <laughs> so I'm excited if you are. Okay, so we're going to be doing intro to verse and then we'll go through with it. But the first, uh, during the, you know, the shuffling, I was doing it, it was more about enter. Someone can be coming to your life or you're coming to someone's life. It's about a big entrance or entering, okay? So I'm not sure where you're going, but every day we enter something. Well, hopefully not the thing, okay? <laughs> you know, but there's definitely, um, I feel like this, either this person has called you baby, baby, ba it's a pretty common, you know, it's a term of endearment, right? So baby, baby, like maybe they're gonna to come towards you, they're entering, something like that. Okay. So okay, I like it. I dig the person, whatever. Aries, okay. Do you like the person though? <laughs> I hear a lot of, oh hell no, so I'll keep that person away from me. Okay, then we'll keep going, okay. So let's keep going, let's keep searching Aries. Oh, also, um, they keep talking about, um, if you are familiar with Vedic's idea of astrology, we use Navamsha chart for marriage. Try to always, every time it's Aries, I always ask them to do that. Uh, so if you're not familiar with your marriage chart, get it, you know, it's, you know, get your D9, it's called Navamsha chart. Google it, you can get it. Uh, it's free. Just get your Navamsha chart. You will see your ascendant is different. Everything is different there. And then you go for your ascendant there and Venus. Remember, Venus rules that chart of marriage. You understand me? That's where you can find out about your marriage, not your Rashi, not your uh, your D1, basically. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I'm seeing here someone re reciting a lot of Om, like frequencies of the you know the universe, right? This um, mm, I feel like you're doing well. You know, so like mudras also. You know, these are activating. I, I know like it activates certain um, energies in the body, right? I'm not familiar with mudra. Remember, when I do intuitive, I'm very ignorant to all the messages. Because you could be a pro at doing um, mudras, and I wouldn't know what it is. Uh -huh. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, I feel here, like, there is a hole in the roof of your car. How old is your car? Or maybe your sunroof is not working also, or, you know, something about uh, your shade. Maybe something is wrong. If you have a top-down, I have it fixed. Uh -huh. There's a hole in your car? What kind of car do you have? Okay. <laughs> not judging though, but have it fixed. Okay. Um, there is this, uh, mm, there, something about, uh, be careful about, you know, like for example, if you're in an environment, work facility, I don't know what they call it, work facility. Um, you know, it's like there's something about the air is toxic. So chances are, you know, um, just be careful in who you are connected with. Like, you know, there's, there's like virus. There's a viral thing. It's out in the air. And you're like, right now, it's like, seriously, so I'm next to Bobby and he's been sneezing. So I'm like, no, it's not. He's not, he's not dangerous. He's not deadly. Okay. Leave Bobby alone. Okay. So, but yeah, so just be careful about your health. Um, especially this season, you know, change of season. Okay. Moving forward. Ah. So what else? Um, someone here is trying to get their doctorate. Someone here is they're trying to get their um, what, uh, degree, right? You know, it's like you already have your bachelor's, then you're moving forward with getting a master's, PhD, and all those. Um, I I call it ninth house. Okay, see, I wouldn't know what it's called in human terms, but third house is your tertiary, like you know, and the ninth house is higher knowledge. So you're 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 evolving as far as like your education. That's something. But I feel like you're finishing it, not getting to it. But some are getting it, but some are already finishing it. Congratulations, okay, um, for your multiple degrees. The only thing that you need now is to master love, okay. And if you want to know, oh, well, I was going to plug the meetup. It's done already. No, you cannot go. Oh, right, next time, next time. How about I tell the Aries, SF is soon, okay. Maybe. We don't know, but you know now, okay. So... Um, 
there's uh, you know there's prayers, there's mudras. Um, you're entering, you know, it can be also dorm, college, uh, you're going back to school. Uh, that's what I'm sensing here. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not sure where your person is. Okay, Sal, because there's no one. Okay. Someone here just turned their 67th birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Um, that's that's a wonderful. Okay. For me to reach the age of 67, that's a blessing. Okay. That's a blessing. Three of Wands. Okay. So there's an energy right now that you probably is expecting this person to see you. There's something that you know that it's about to happen. I feel like, you know, I feel like you're relocating. Okay, you're moving. Okay, um, you're done where you're at, and you you feel like, well, you know, it's time for me. It's time. Something about time. You're waiting for an opportunity. Um, I feel like it can be like a job abroad. You're waiting for your um, what do you call that? Work permit or something like that. You're waiting for things to be signed, documents. I'm seeing it here. Oh, and it is coming. Remember, three of wands. Always wait for the sun. That's how I read it. Okay. So good news with travel. Document is coming. When if you apply for a certain work permit in another country, um, you're gonna get it. Okay. Now let me tell you about the American dream. It's called an American nightmare. <laughs> it's not a dream, folks. Okay, it's not a dream. Until you wake up that you have Uncle Sam with you. Okay? First person that you will marry in America is Uncle Sam. It's called Uncle Sam, you know who Uncle Sam is. The one who puts 2% on this, 8% on this, and then, you know, another 2% on this, and then, you know, your paycheck comes to zilch. <laughs> Congratulations on the move, though. Okay. It's a peaceful country, yes. Okay. But you don't have a peace of mind. Okay. The sun card showing here. Don't, okay, I'm not going to rain on your parade, but wherever you're going, if it's a vacation also, it's coming to a more fruitful, uh, how to say this, um, uh, fruitful um, event, okay? Um, as far as like vacation, I see it here. It's going to be good, okay? If it's a person that you're waiting for, I feel like energetically, the universe has already matched the two of you. And it's just a perfect timing to, um, you know, it's like... It's like something about just wait for the perfect timing and you're gonna want to say when is the perfect timing stop caring about the perfect timing it will happen yes okay someone here also started to grow gray hair it's wisdom okay gray hair is wisdom don't worry about it or vitamin deficiency <laughs> Asa cubs new lover hello foreign person that's a foreign land okay Mm -hmm. I'm hearing I'm hearing someone is coming from uh, Spain. Okay, it's, it's, it's Spanish speaking. Okay, okay. Hola. <laughs> this is what they're saying. Or you could be traveling there. Okay. Is Bogota? I think, but I think Bogota is in Colombia. Maybe you're from there. Okay. But of course, there's Madrid. Of course, right. Um, I'm seeing here like someone is um, watching you. Okay, it's not a stalker, but I feel like it's more of the universe has been watching you. And waiting for this, uh, you know, for this opportunity for you to get this love. I feel like it's more of planet alignment more than the person. Like things are lining up. You will know. You will know when things are lining up. You you will see that no matter how much the struggle is, it still goes through. And you know when it's not in alignment when things you think has to go through it never goes through. Okay, because you get the help of the universe here. King of Swords, an Aquarian. This is multiple degree. Okay, King of Swords is the more the most educated. Um, how to say this? Uh, court card, King, out of all them. So you're connecting with someone that's very intellectual. Of course, I have to put it that King of Swords is a divorcee. Okay. There's a new baby also here that is gonna be born. Congratulations! This person is gonna be a Sun in Scorpio. Four of Swords. Okay. Um. Someone is constantly dreaming about this connection right now. Let me see. Ooh, I never use my left. Okay. Yeah, because it's a bad omen. So why did you just do it to me? I don't know. Okay. Then just be careful. Okay. <laughs> it's not superstitious. I did you guys ever see me use my left? I never use my left. Okay. So seven of ones though. Okay. So for me, it's just like don't allow people to come into your house. Lock the door, shut the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Bring back the right. So just be careful about that one. Um, like, you know, it's like, it's just, 
some maybe breaking and entering lock the door Aries <laughs> lock the door okay if it's your room then lock your you know what just be careful <laughs> seven of pentacles here so weeding out the good and the bad I'm feeling here you've done the selection okay you just know who who is meant for you is coming already um, and you're just being patient about this. You've already invested um, as far as like yourself, your inner healing. And I feel like it's starting to grow. It's starting to manifest. Is it a new person? I feel like it is. But considering that there's a seven of pentacles, you kind of know this person. When I say new, it can be the newest out of all the old. You understand me? Meaning the most recent one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups is also healing yourself. So you've probably healed yourself already because the Four of Swords is also healing. Sun is healing. You have accomplished yourself. I mean, you've accomplished your self-healing and self-journey. Something like that. Uh -huh. Where are you going then? Uh -huh. So um, there are people here I'm seeing. Um, isn't it? Isn't it Montreal? Is in Canada? So something about Canada is here. Maybe you're traveling, moving to Canada. Something about that. If you're a healer, then chances are you're... Uh, professional, you know, the profession, the one who studies, okay, doctor, nurse, nurse practitioner, all those, okay, or lunch lady who heals, lunch lady healer, okay, lunch ladies are healer, they heal lunch, you know, especially if you're hungry, okay, love me lunch lady, okay, <laughs> seven of pentacles here, um, if you're invested somewhere, okay, um, when I say somewhere, meaning, um, like, uh, you put money away, and then you're just going to wait for it to grow. I feel like it was pretty good investment. It's right here. Um, just be careful about your belongings and things that matters to you. Just, you know, look out for that one. Um, um, but definitely love is looking forward. Uh, looking looking, looking pretty, pretty good. Um, this weekly energy for you. Okay. Someone is approaching to you also. I'm hearing Neptunian. And Neptune is associated with water. I, I practice Vedic ideal. And Neptune, if I... Because I don't know in Western... I feel like Neptune is Pisces. Okay, so you have to school me on that one. Remember, ignorant in uh, I'm ignorant in with regards to intuitive, because uh, you gotta come out stupid in order to come out wise. Now you know. Okay, so it's disarming people who are smart asses. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so that's that one. All right, so I'll continue this reading as you meet this person. I told you gazillion messages, not gazillion cards. So hopefully it resonates to someone. Name is um, okay. Like you want names? I can't find mm. Richard or Ruth, if that's a name. I don't know who any Richard or Ruth. Okay. But someone here, um, um probably you're watching me during the time the season is raining or something about rain. Maybe that's a name also. But there's a, there's a in your country our season is raining right now. I'm seeing it here. Um someone here also owns a farm. Can I stop? Okay. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Link down there. Bye guys.